Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we are doing upside down cooking. Now, if you don't know what these are, these are upside down goggles. And what they do is pretty self-explanatory. You put these on and you see things upside down. Here's a demonstration. As you can see, I am upside down. Now, the goal for today's video is I'm going to have these glasses on while I cook myself some lunch. And today on the menu, we have grilled cheese and mac and cheese. So, let's get into it. Of all disclaimer, don't do this. Um, this is not a smart thing to do. This is probably pretty dangerous. So, um, just gonna put that out there. Don't do this. So, first things first, I need to go obtain a pot. Jesus fucking Christ. The problem with this is that you can't really look down. When you look down, you end up seeing like in front of yourself. We do have a pot acquired. I now need to place it on the stove. It's not on so I can touch it. Let me see if I can show you guys what it looks like to walk in these. Okay, so right now you're looking forward. If you want to look down, this is what it kind of does to you. Is this just all really fucky and you can't really tell what you're doing. I'm to obtain the pan now. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Like. Oh my god. There we go, got it. It's like... It's like seeing yourself in the third person, pretty much. Like, that's what this feels like I'm trying to... Like, this feels like I'm trying to control myself in the third person. Second up, we need a spatula now. Oh. No. Oh. No. How this would honestly probably be easier if I was just blind. Obtained. Step two is to fill our pot up with water now. Water, I think. Is that? I can't, I can't see the amount of... I, where's the camera? Here we go. Is, is, is this enough water? There for now, I must transfer our water over. I think I just spilled some. I definitely spilled some I can feel on my throat. Why is there a cabinet right in front? What? Where am I? I think I got it. Yeah! Yeah! Step uh, three. We need to turn on the stove. Now, I'm realizing there's two dials and I'm in with it upside down. I am unsure of which one I'm is the one I need to turn on. So, I think it's this one. And we're gonna hope that it's right because my phone is pretty close to the other burner that would be getting turned on uh, if it's not correct. So let's fingers crossed hope. Step three, we need to go grab a plate and we need to prepare our grilled cheese. Right in front of me. All right. Nope, that's under it. That's also when I just dropped something. Holy shit. Okay. You, I don't think you guys understand how like impairing this actually like is. So, lo and behold, I uh, turned on the wrong one. I almost just melted my phone. So, let's go ahead and turn on the correct burner. So that way my phone doesn't get melted into goo. Now, while our water is starting to boil, let's go and grab our plate and our bread. Where's the fucking bread? Two slices of bread on the plate. Bon appetito. Next up, I get a butter knife. I want to specify a butter knife. Um, I'm not grabbing any shrimp knives. But that's a fork. It's a butter knife. That's also a fork. That's a butter knife. <clears throat> Alright, so let's grab our cheese. Cheese has now been acquired. So, it's in front of the camera now. My bread. How am I supposed to look at this? I can't look far. I can't look down far enough. Look at it. Oh, what? 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 Oh, no! Okay, there we go. This is so fucking weird. It feels like I'm 
controlling a video game character. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm trying to grab shit right now. Okay. No. No, this way. One cheese. Two. Two. Two cheese on bread from the bottom here. And then no. 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 Hole. So it is assembled. And in the time that our grilled cheese has been assembled, our water has now begun to boil. Let's go and try and make sure we get all this in. Fucking, I, I, I feel the heat on my hand, so I believe I have to be close enough, but I also don't want to burn my hand. So I'm gonna pour right here. No, do not pour right there, fuck. There we go. Elbow pasta, or no, this isn't, what is this? Pyro pasta is in the pot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this burner. Fuck, which one's the right one? All right, burner's on. We're gonna get back to our real stupid. Oh, this is real stupid of what I'm doing. I should not have my hands in here. So up here, we're gonna put our mayonnaise on our real cheese so that way it does not stick to the pan. All right, I think that's one side covered. Oh, yep, I feel that mayo on my hand. I definitely did not. Water? My uh, water's over boiling. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, shit. My knife. My knife. It looks so goofy from the camera's point of view. It probably just looks like I'm not like ketamine right now because. I cannot imagine like what it would look like from someone who can actually fucking see normally. Okay. Now I dropped my knife. It's time to get our grilled cheese into our pan. Okay, forward. Easy goes, easy goes. Get it off, get it off, get it off. No! Oh no, oh no, oh no. I almost had a catastrophe with the grilled cheese, but we're good. Okay, especially, yeah, don't try this shit at all. Like, this is actually really fucking stupid what I'm doing right here, but I'm the one that had the video idea, so. Holy shit, this is super. Pasta has been strained. Now it is time to probably flip the grilled cheese, actually. Grilled cheese is looking absolutely beautiful. I feel nauseous. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is like it makes you feel nauseous after a while. Time to put this in our pot. Put it in our pot. I'm gonna hang it right now. Just a stash of milk. milk. Why is this not pouring? Oh. Oh shit. I think I got it in. Stir up. Oh yeah, listen to that. <clears throat> this is um, delectable cooking. That was a grilled cheese. I hope it's not burnt. I think it might be burnt. How do I flip this? Okay. Fuck. Get it off. Fuck. Fuck. Got it. Oh, okay, got it. But I'm burning the plate. Oh shit. If you can see, I burnt. Oh my. I burnt the fuck out of this plastic. I need to actually. So the problem has been neutralized. There's no more fucking killer fumes. The grilled cheese is done. We took a bite out of our plate too. It looks like the cheese has still on. Time to plate up and serve. 
time to time to plate up and serve. It's not the like melted plastic. I put it on the grilled cheese. That's fine, I guess. Ow! All right, it is time to dig in. Ladies and gentlemen, let's try this wonderful home cooked meal. Some macaroni. Oh my god. I really the luck the luck grilled cheese. Alright. Uh let's see if we got a little cheese pull. Oh that was not even terrible, but hell yeah, buddy. I mean, it's a grilled cheese. No I can say. It's mac and cheese and a grilled cheese. And it tastes fine. It has a little bit of a microplastic taste, but I can get over that. All in all, um, I wouldn't do this again. Um, don't recommend you do it either, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye. Fucking roll. roll.